Hello friends, I'm Larry with Rides Done Right, and this is the Portland Roadster Show. This car was already built by Strictly Street Rods. He got wiped out in the four weeks. <laughs> This is Greg with Rides Done Right, and here I'm at the Portland Roaster Show with Doug Vandisher. He's got a 66 Chevelle, and this thing is looks like looks like you're ready to rock and roll here. It's it's all finished nicely. Yeah, it's all finished. Just got done, fresh fresh as uh, it'll ever be here. You still had uh, you still had uh, polishing compound on it when I saw it the other day, so it was like really fresh. It is very fresh. Yeah, just <laughs> just finished polishing it Monday. Monday here before the week here, yeah. So, tell us about the car. How'd you get this car? So this car, uh, uh, my dad and mom ordered in uh, November of '65. Uh, they got to, it was built in December of '65. They took delivery in January. Uh, I was born in February of '66 and came home in the hospital in this uh, this car, <laughs> and uh, it's been the family ever since. Uh, when I turned 16, actually. Uh, my name got put on the title, and uh, so so now now it's mine. So talk about a family history of a car. Yeah, yeah. This is it. From day one, it comes right off the factory, comes to your dad, yeah. and then within you know literally a couple months, less than a couple months, you're riding in it for the first as, as a baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the back seat. <laughs> in the back seat. Yeah. And then, uh, interesting thing later uh, when I was driving it, my. Uh, our firstborn came home in the backseat of this car as well. I, I, I think you did that on purpose, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it, it, it turns out it was the only car we had that had a back seat. Oh, and, uh, okay. But uh, but it was kind of cool in retrospect. Yeah. Very cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So this this is yours. I mean, this is like you're gonna own this for. It's, yeah. This this is our it. it's our car. It's it's never was gonna go anywhere. Uh, it's it's definitely the same family. So how many uh, you 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 had it from 16 and you put lots of miles on it. So how did it how how did it go? I mean, where where'd you go? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I, I had it through high school and college. Uh, halfway through college, uh, the engine was a little tired. I think about 180 thousand on or something. Me and a friend uh, in the, you know in his dad's garage tried to rebuild the engine one summer. Uh, that worked okay. It was a little bit of leak in it. We didn't get it quite tight when it was done, but uh, I ran it for another 30 or so, 34,000 miles till about 96, and then uh, and then it then it got parked for good. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long did you have it parked? From 96 till six years oh, ago. So ago. yeah, yeah. So whatever that was. 12, 12 yeah, yeah, 2012. Yeah. So you parked it in 96, and it it stayed until tw uh, 2012, right? So that's, yep. Uh, uh, 2011. Uh, 20, 2011 is when we started on it. Yep. And then, uh, so what'd you do? How'd you get, what, what uh, you just decided, you finally, it was something probably on your mind for a long time. Like, yeah, I get this done, yeah. Right? So, I mean, I knew from the time I got it, it was a classic car, that someday that I would restore it. You know, and years kind of went by, and uh, uh, at, at some point in time, back in 2010, uh, was on some weekend with my parents and stuff, and my, uh, my dad said, you know, when do you ever get around to doing that Chevelle? And, and I go, well, you know, someday, but maybe maybe the time is right. But you know, it's going to be a multi-year project. Where we're going to do that, it, you know, can't really do it in the garage. And uh, and he says, well, how about how about if we build a new shop and then we can we can uh, do it in there. And I thought, <laughs> how do you say no to that? <laughs> and I, okay. Uh, so funny thing, the next weekend I call out to my parents. My mom answers the phone and and uh, you know, hey, what's going on out there? Well, your dad's out pushing down the old shop so we can build a new one. So oh. that was like one week later. So. <laughs> He was apparently was excited to get so, going. So maybe there was an a <laughs> ulterior motive to him getting a new shop. It sounds like, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, I think yeah, new shop, new car, yeah. cool, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. he's yeah. he's heavily involved. In it. He's he bought, not only bought the car and yep. then now he's uh, you know said, hey, let's get this going. And uh, did yeah. he did he help in the build? Oh yeah, yeah. We spent uh, countless hours. Uh, we, oh, we, we tore the whole thing apart. Yeah. And uh, and and spent you know hours out there. BSN and, and 
and oh, working on it. My mom would bring meals out, and yeah, uh, yeah it was it was oh, good times. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can't beat that. No, That'll be no, uh, no. treasure for a long yeah, time, absolutely, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So, what what engine do you have in it now? Uh, well, the nice thing about this is I got to put a. Uh, I've always kind of loved Corvettes, uh, so this has got an LS modern modern bed engine what, in, which, in this it's an ls3 three okay with uh and it's a crate engine uh but it's got uh one hot cam in it so, so it's a four, out the cam? Yeah. no it came from the crate you can order oh, them that way the hot cam. Okay. Uh, so this is this is the 480 horse version of the ls3 uh, -oh. uh they had a couple versions you could order this one was the one i went with 483 Four, 480 horse 480 480, uh, 480 yeah. horsepower yeah. ls3 nice and yeah. then what's the transmission you got it you got some extra you got an extra pedal in extra there. pedal so uh originally it was a 327 v8 with four speed yeah so now it's an ls3 with a six speed a tremec t56 tremec. six speed right. yep. yep yeah mm -hmm. nice mm -hmm. and then um, interior what do you have it's a nice black it's done nicely who, who did that yeah uh stitches custom upholstery up in washington uh, yeah. tony miller yeah uh, it's a uh, dark charcoal gray uh, with uh, uh, some dark blue thread stitching in there. Uh, Very subtle. Yeah. yeah, nice under the right light. You can see yeah, all that. Right? It, it takes it takes a little bit of light to see yeah. it. He kept sending me pictures, and they're all black thread. I go, when are you going to use the blue thread? He says, it's all blue. And I, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, but uh, now I see it in person. It definitely looks that way. And the, and the, the styling in there, you've got some original type of styling that came with it, but it, there's also some some slight changes that kind of make it a one-off, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I told Tony I wanted to remind myself, remind it of stock, but uh, but still, but be nice, you know, like better than stock. And yeah. So it's really stitched and really made together, not, you know, yeah. some of the seams were like plastic pressed on the original stuff, and this right. is it's all real stitched. But uh, he did some mock-up stuff and drew it up for me, and, and I got to look at it, and he really figured out what I was looking for, because it, it looks better than I could imagine, actually, yeah. That's when you know you hit a home run when you got somebody who can read your mind, right? Yeah. And just improve, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So then you've got, okay, so running gear, uh, you've got the, well, of course, you got the LS3, you've yep. got the Tremec, and then uh, what do you have for uh, uh, suspension? Yeah, it's just a Detroit, Detroit Speed, uh, their stage three kit, which is basically their full on. So it's coilover, uh, coilover shocks, JRI shocks all the way around. Uh, uh, sway bars front and back, okay. big, big sway bar up front. Uh, stock chassis or? Uh... Uh, stock chassis. Okay. Um, I did box it, uh, so framed in the chassis a little bit to yeah. be a little more strength because it's more yeah. than twice the horsepower of the original engine. Right. Yeah. Right. And then uh, the paint. I mean, this is a yeah. deep. I came up the other day. The lights weren't on, but I thought it was black. I mean, that's a deep, deep blue. It that's it's really pretty. It is. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, this is the original color, actually. Uh, Danube blue was the name, color code EE on the tag, and um, I it, I was never a question about what color was going to be. Uh, the paint, the painter uh, Ben Conley gave me some test colors, and I took them out to look at up different things, or gave me a test panel of this, right. and I showed up some other cars that I like the blue of, and I just kept coming back to this. Yeah. So it's you know. It's, it's it's meant to be Daniel yeah. Blue. So that's well, what it is. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you looked at that color your whole life, I, and yeah, I, I can't yeah. imagine. And yeah, yeah. I don't blame you. I, that's a beautiful yeah, color. Yeah. So you. you you did not go wrong there. So good. And then uh, so what a nice display you have. Well, you you not only uh, got a nice car, but you put it in such a nice. You yeah, have good taste with displays. Yeah, I, I do you. too. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I uh, uh, this I was a little hesitant to put it on display. I was never really meant to. This was meant to be just a car to have, and but A uh, and M Deluxe Customs convinced me that it was worthy of putting in the show, and and managed to arrange uh, arrange the display from uh, on loan to to someone. I happen to know that guy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it does look awesome. The, so the no, but you mentioned A and M Builder. We have yeah. to we have to give them a lot of credit here because they they put a lot of you know every everything they do is, is oh. yeah. top notch. So this is yeah, I uh, really enjoyed working with them. I uh, you know they were, I actually live uh, just three miles or so from their shop, so uh, I was a frequent visitor when this car <laughs> was in the shop and I'd come in and just. Smiles all around. I loved it. Uh, it was great. And so what? What uh, did they? They had to replace certain panels and stuff. I mean, they. 
right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the car had 209,000 and it was, you know, almost 50 years old at the time. And uh, so there was rust in the typical areas and uh, uh, the quarters, lower quarters, the whole trunk lid, the whole trunk floor yeah. Was, uh, yeah. was was Swiss cheese. Yeah. Um, you know, but those uh, other, you know, the trunk floor, and we ended up replacing the hood, um, but uh, in retrospect, probably could have got away with the original one. But um, uh, it's other than the trunk floor, it's you know replaced pieces, but it's all stock metal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice car, beautiful. Mm. I know you're gonna have fun with this. I know this is you're, this is you know you you've told me this is not a, a real show car. Yeah. But uh, you're gonna get this out and drive it, and uh, but I tell you, it's only fresh one. It's only brand new one. So you're doing the right thing by by showing it and then going out and driving it. Yeah, so thank you. Congratulations. Oh, thank you, Greg. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everyone from Portland, uh, Portland Roaster Show. We'll see you next time.